Hello everybody and welcome back to Emily's Upcycle Tome. To shop my items, please click on the links in the comments. Follow me on my business page and that link will be in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So we're going to jump into project number one and we are going to upcycle this old canvas here. It's already used. My daughter used to like to paint so she had all these canvases that she had and she gave them to me to see what I can do with them. And first of all, I'm just going to go over here and take out all the little um, tacks here or staples with my little knife and then I'm going to come in with my tool and then pull those staples out and it's a tedious process but it had to be done and lucky you guys I get to fast forward and um, now we're just going to go ahead and take that canvas off now don't throw away your canvas because we're going to use that to put our new image on and we're going to go more with a fall theme here on this video and we're going to add this print here to the back of this canvas and we're going to and we're going to make this a whole new piece of art for fall. Now I'm going to first come in and I'm just going to cut off all the excess of the canvas with my scissors going around as best I can to, you know, get on that crease that it was that's already there and follow that down and then cut off any extra that I think. Now the back is blue, so I'm not going to use the back side because I don't really want to worry about the paint seeping through that but I'm gonna go ahead with this print and you can get this print on graphicfairy.com and it's the she has free printables there and I went ahead and added the the wording with my um, app that I have to edit my videos and that app is in shot and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut to size and we're gonna come in with Mod Podge here or any of your decoupage medium and we are going to apply that um, graphic to the canvas here. Now I printed mine out on a um, um, inkjet printer. So I went ahead and sprayed the top of it. Ross, your graphic is just going to bleed everywhere. A laser printer is best for this. You can get your prints also done at um, like an office depot or wherever you get your prints made. And that will probably work out better than using that printer that I'm using. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Mod Podge and I'm not gonna worry about wrinkles. I like some wrinkles in my pieces, but if you guys do not, you know, get your saran wrap out and spread out those pieces and smooth them out the paper. Now, this is just regular printer paper that I'm using for that graphic. Now we're gonna come in and work on the frame that we're gonna put it on. And um, there's a little bit of blue paint there, so I'm just sanding that off. And I'm going to come in here with my mixture of the brown paint, black paint, and water with a little bit of olive oil and blend that into this wood, giving it more of an aged, weathered look. And that's when I added the black paint to give it more of that, this tone, this weather tone. And I do the same thing for my brown paint stain without, just don't add the black in and it's basically a stain or a wash and like i said before you can use any color to make your washes here and i'm just going to thoroughly coat this and then i'm going to let it set for a little bit and come in with just a paper towel i grabbed off my table there um, and then i'm going to wipe off all the excess of the stain or wash that we're using and pull that um, excess off and then it's going to expose the remaining stain there and see how it gave you that weathered wood look there. And that's what I'm going for here. Because it's fall, we want those deeper tones and those um, natural tones and things like that. Now I'm just here sizing my print to see how I want it. Now if you want your print plain like that, you can go ahead and leave this and glue your thing, your canvas back onto your mat. But... I like to layer and blend in my art. I don't want it just to look like a piece of paper stuck to my canvas here. So I'm going to come in with this um, folk art paint that I got from Hobby Lobby in the color um, linen. And I'm going to go ahead and paint over all the edges 
of this piece and then we're going to go ahead and blend it in and you'll see that later on but let's go ahead and finish this part so we can move on to the next step So here's where I come in and I'm going over into the graphic to like kind of blend in that paint and make it all one cohesive little um, linen color. And um, then we'll come in and we'll blend some more. You know me, I like to come in with some more blending and layers. So we'll do that also. You see me come in with my rag there and just blotching off some of the excess paint and help blend it. And then you see me go over the actual graphic design as well with that same color just to kind of blend it in. And here I am just practicing how the paint's lying on the canvas, arranging with the frame. And then I'm just going to come in and make sure that I have the color all the way to that frame part. Now off camera you can't really tell but you can see the line of the paper so if you want something more thinner you can go with the rice paper and we'll probably do that in a later video and then I also like to use tissue paper and tissue paper kind of melts into the piece so I like to use that as well and here we come in with those same distressing ink pads and um, the little blending tool that I have and we're going to come in with that vintage photo and then we're going to come in again with that walnut um, stain color and then we're just going to keep blending you guys and you go ahead and blend away So the last step for this canvas is I'm going to go over with an iron and you want a piece of um, parchment paper or the one that goes in the oven and I'm going to pull out my mini iron and I didn't have that paper so I'm going to go over with this this envelope it does have some waxing on it so it works just fine and I'm just going to go over with my iron and reactivate that, pol that Mod Podge and have a better bond to the surface. Now for project number two, we're going to work on another canvas. Now for the first project and gluing, I lost that footage. So it, you know, the process is simple. You just glue that backing onto your frame and then you're done. And for this one, I took off the canvas and then realized that the car, the frame here is actually cardboard. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this up with that same linen color. And then we'll come in and find a backing and do another photo print in the same kind of style. And we'll go ahead and move on from there. So here it is painted. And we're going to come in with those um, same distressing inks, the vintage photo, and layer in that dark walnut stain um, ink as well into the frame. And both these products, and along with those little brushes, you can find on Amazon. I actually got mine at Hobby Lobby, but they are on Amazon. And once again, you're just going to go in and repeat the process of blending in the colors. And I'm going to color in with the darker stain and do that process. 
Now for this photo, I, actually, I got it also on the Graphic Fairy and it's just this pear color. And I actually cut around it and just have a little bit of a border. I wasn't intricate in coloring all the branches out and everything. I just made it a border and cut it as close as I can. And then we're gonna come in with that same linen paint and we're just gonna do this blotchy method here and um, go around all the all this little piece. And I found a little like cardboard piece that my husband uses for his lasering. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those pieces. And I Mod Podge that pear picture on there and then I'm coming in with that same linen color and once again blotching around it and then we're going to layer here as well with the same distressing inks and here i am you know testing out the photo frame and i'm also going to add this little piece of transfer here onto the piece and i lost some footage here but i did come in with that same technique with the inks and layered up pieces and later on, you're gonna see later on in a note, I try to come back again and add some textured paint to it and kinda made the piece look in a whole different way, but you'll see that one at the end when I put my little updates on here. And so these are um, transfer pieces from actually the IOD, I think, pot transfers. And um, I'm just gonna piece together the wording the way I want and come in with that tool and just kind of just rub that transfer in and pull back the plastic and then just kind of with my finger go back over it making sure that it has a nice enough bond and then i'm going to put this one on top kind of curves a little and i'm trying to like um kind of camouflage a little bit of the paper that or the peat the spots of the this little painting that I don't really like and I want to blend a little bit more. So now we're gonna come in with our glue and glue around um, this piece. Now, I should have glued around the, the poster part of it because when I put this down, I was a little off and I couldn't take it back off without ruining everything. So I just left it and that excess that was on there, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off with scissors because it is just a, like a thicker cardboard piece here that's for the backing and like i told you before on this piece too i try to go in with some texture paint and camouflage the paper but it turns out to be a whole different look so i'll show you guys that and the finished product looks different than what this is then you you'll know why and at the end of everything i like to add my little bit of greenery and my bow so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll go ahead and move on to project number three and I just found for project number three I just found this little piece of wood salvage wood and I'm gonna come back in with those same ILD pot transfers and I'm just gonna pick some wording and now I'm going with the fall theme but I don't really like things that say pumpkin and things like that um, this is more kind of like a country cottage kind of fall theme here. So I'm going to come in with some roses and um, some wording. And this is just going to be just like a dis display piece to add some texture and some interest to a little vignette that you guys have out. Or if you guys purchase these items, you can purchase this and throw it all together. But I'm just going ahead and rubbing on those transfers and pulling back that plastic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and seal this with the Rust-Oleum Matte Sealer. And I find that also on Amazon, but you can also get it at Home Depot. So I'm gonna put one little transfer piece there, and then I'm gonna cut the other one out and put the other transfer piece on the other side. And the other little wording that's gonna be saved that didn't make it onto this, and then I'll come in with some sandpaper and scuff that up a little bit, seal it, and then this project's done. So I made a little bit of changes and added some things here. So for the little pear picture, I decided to use this basket and add the pear picture into there. Now you see me touching this because here I already added that textured paint 
by mixing some salt in the same linen paint that I put on there and dabbed. Now I'm just going to come back in with those waxes and redo it. Now in the end the piece comes out a little bit darker than when I finished it but you know it still works for me and I still like the piece. And this is a basket I thrifted that was kind of like a little um had a lid in a bottom but I went ahead and separated those two pieces because it was broken and then here I am just adding in and to attach the photo here I added a little clasp on the back of the photo and then ran some twine through the basket hooking up that little clasp that I have they're just hooks that you get off for picture hooks and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I also did add texture to the bigger piece also and here are our finished products. Thank you guys for watching. Please shop my items with the links in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you on the next one.